Hey guys, Dennis here. How are y'all doing? Welcome back. So, it's time for another review. Today I picked a movie out for you guys from 2014, American guinea pig, Bouquet of Guts and Gore. Wow. So, the movie is written and directed by uh, Stephen Biro. I know if I pronounced it right. Uh, sorry if I didn't pronounce it right. So, the movie is about two girls, um, one played by uh, Kathleen uh, Daly and the other by the lovely Ashley Lynn Caputo. The girls are a victim of a kidnapping by a group of snuff filmmakers. They are knocked out um, with gas, kidnapped, lying on the bed, um, after getting some uh, LSD drops and a tranquilizer, um, well, they're completely paralyzed, but they can still see the whole thing happen. You know, um, that's very fucked up. I mean, you get kidnapped, you're totally paralyzed, and the only thing that you can do is watch and experience what's going to happen to your body. Even though you don't want it to happen, you can't do anything. So, um, well, the movie is inspired by the original guinea pig series. I know if you uh, know the series, if you don't, uh, it's from the 80s. Go check it out. Awesomely done, especially for that time. So it's no spoiler when I say that the two girls who are kidnapped are getting brutally mutilated, um, slaughtered and everything. So nice. Um, well, the killer is a buff guy um, with a goat mask on. Um, well, he's not wearing a shirt, so it's and because he's so buff, he, yeah, it, it's very creepy, very intimidating. Um, well, he's going to give us the gore show we want to see. If you didn't want to see it, too bad, you'll get traumatized, seriously. <laughs> there are other uh, two filmmakers also wearing a mask um, and the lead uh, camera guy um, wears a mask with a text from the Bible glued on. So that looks very cool and also very intimidating. Um, you can clearly read the uh, word revelations. So yeah, awesome. Um, well, they're using three cameras, uh, two eight millimeter cameras, you know, you hold it like this and you turn, um, and one HD camera. And the shots are amazing. Very cool done. I really see it as art. Well, it's sick, gory, nasty art, but still it's art and I like it. And yeah, I'm sick in the head. Deal with it. Um, what is really cool about the movie is um, that the shots from the 8mm camera, um, well, it's, it's like a tape, it's, it's not uh, good quality, um, you see a, a shaky cam, so it looks like it's a real event, that it's really happening in real life. So that makes the movie even creepier, the atmosphere, yeah, you really must check it out. Very cool done, awesome, thumbs up, seriously. I really don't want to spoil um, a lot when I tell something about the movie, but it's almost impossible to tell something about this without spoiling anything. So, um, well, I'm going to give some points for the movie, like in my other reviews. Um, that's for body count, gore, story, and nudity. So, here are the points. And we're back. 
So, I'm going to give this movie a 4 out of 5. I mean, the points that you just saw doesn't really matter for this movie. I mean, it's a tradition that I uh, give points, like in all my other reviews, but, um, well, you know, take, body, take the body count. You know, it's a body count of 2. But, in this movie, when you have a body count of 10, or more, or whatever, the movie wouldn't be uh, reali realistic. You know, and eventually it gets boring because, well, when he cuts up 10 women, yeah, it doesn't work. So, that's awesomely done. I really, really dug the movie. I mean, seriously. Uh, first, I had some mixed feelings. Because, you know, I was like, ah, another guinea pig. Um, well, it's the same kind of movies and, yeah. Maybe they're using some CGI, I don't know, whatever. But the movie really got my um, brains to explode. Um, I saw it last weekend and the whole time, the, uh, every day, I'm thinking of the movie like, wow, that was so cool. Um, I didn't expe expect that it would be this cool. and. Um, yeah, I want to see it again. So, awesome, awesome job. That's how you make a movie. You know, get people to keep thinking about the movie and um, want to see it again and again and again. So, thumbs up for you guys. Awesomely done. The effects are incredibly good. Awesomely done. Um, well, I keep repeating myself, but seriously. Um, although sometimes you can clearly see that um, the women are uh, puppets. I really think that if they uh, use a different camera angle and um, well, maybe a little bit like this, then it would be the shot is then much uh, realistic. But now I'm just bitching um, and I don't think the movie deserves uh, to be bitch about. So I won't do that anymore. Um, well, thumbs up for the effects again. Seriously, awesome job. Awesome. The camera shots, those are fantastic. Like I said, three cameras, uh, two 8mm cameras and one HD camera. And then you see shots of, um, well, the killer. Um, you can see it in uh, the low quality. And then uh, sometimes you see a shot with HD uh, through it. And then back to the 8mm camera. So it, it, like I said before, it made it so realistic and that you just forget that it's a movie. You can totally think that it, it just happened before your eyes. Now, I don't know how to explain it. You, you just have to see it for yourself. Also, the killer is very brutal. Use a lot of materials to slash the whole body up. Um, amazing job. Um, very cool. Also, some elements. Um, no, I won't tell you. Just go see it. Um, and I really think that if you have a weak stomach, stomach that you shouldn't watch the movie. I'm just kidding. Go watch it. Don't be such a pussy. Seriously, everyone has to see this movie. And oh, also, if you know the original guinea pig series, then you know it's gory, it's nasty, it's everything a horror fan wants. So, you go watch it. Go pre-order it. Um, it comes out the 21st of this month in July so get your copy uh, you can get it uh, through a Diabolic uh, DVD uh, or Amazon or eBay go order it I really really going to shock some people with this movie <laughs> it's going to be so much fun I'm going to uh, show parts of the movie and tape uh, videotape or with my camera 
um, their, their reactions. I'm going to make a compilation movie of it. Um, I uh, watched, uh, I let the movie watch by my parents, uh, some parts of it, and I taped their reaction. So I'm going to uh, show that after the outro. So keep watching the movie, please. Uh, and later I will do a new video with only the reaction of uh, the movie with a lot of different people. So um, this is a spoiler. So spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. If you don't want to hear about the ending, then just skip a little bit further or you go to the outro. Um, this movie has one of the best endings I've seen um, in, the, in, in some years. Um, after the, the girls are murdered, slashed up, hacked up and um, well, they clean out the beds and then you see two uh, blank beds. Then you see the killer uh, getting a baby and the baby's crying, crying and he lays the baby down on the bed. Then he sits uh, on his knees and he taps on one of his knees and then uh, a little kid from well maybe a year or five, six years old comes and he ordered that kid to lay, lie on the bed. Then you hear the creepy sound effects uh, mixed with the baby's crying. Then you see, of course, the uh, 8mm camera shot. And, well, it, it's just creepy. When you hear the baby crying, you see the shots. Then the image is turned red. Or um, black. Red and black, whatever. And then you hear the creepy sound effects and the baby crying and it fades out. So then you're like, oh my god. Oh my God, oh my Satan, oh my Allah, whatever. What are we going to do with the baby and the other kid? So, awesomely done. Um, also, very quick, uh, a fun fact. Um, the makers of... Uh, well, I'm going to tell it different. Fun fact. Uh, in the begin 90s, um, the some people burned... Uh, or uh, taped on a video, the original guinea pig series, and um, send it to Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen watched the video and he called the FBI because he thought he really has a, a snuff movie there. Well, a lot of investigations and it turns out that it's a movie, so um, they laughed at him and it's like, no, it's okay. Now, uh, present year, 2015, they burned, uh, I don't know if it was the makers themselves or other people, I don't know, but I think the makers um, burned a bootleg copy and also sent it to Charlie Sheen. And again, he called the FBI. And what was very cool, the whole FBI office watched the movie and they see that it's, that it's just a movie. So they left at him and they told him that they won't take any more uh, calls from him about snuff films. So, um, well, the FBI thought it was a very cool movie, very great effects, um, and they won't uh, take any charges, of course, of the filmmakers. So that's very cool, right? Um, well, I hope you guys liked my review. Uh, the video was a bit long, but I hope I didn't bore you. And, um, well, if you like it, put a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hey, sharing is caring, much appreciated. Um, add me on Facebook, Dennis Kiermit. Um, add me on Instagram, Dennis underscore reviews. And well, I'm going to wish you a great night, a great week, and see you next time. Bye. Oh. Maar die persoon is al dood. Nee, ze hebben LSD hebben ze toegediend. Uh,
uh, een spierverslapper, zeg maar. Dat alles, ze ma maakt alles nog mee. Alleen. Nee, Staat dan eraf. Nog niet folie op. Nou, ik zeg die. 